In this tutorial, we'll be going through the plugin Transpose Master. In order to get this plugin, you'll want to go to zbrushcentral.com, click on our gallery, scroll down to Transpose Master icon, click here, and this is where you will get the plugin in a short little video. Another great resource we have is our wiki, which can be found at zbrush.info. On this main page, click on online documentation scroll down to strike a pose transpose and here's where you will find all online documentation on how to use transpose master back to zbrush so where transpose master comes in handy is for tools such as our demo soldier that has multiple sub tools to him and i want to move the arm the glove and the wristband so go our plugin transpose master t pose to mesh ZBrush is now taking all subtools and dropping them to the lowest subdivision level so that we may pose the character. Click on rotate, draw an action line from the elbow to his fingers. Go in control, click at the elbow and draw a line. Now I have an action line that when I move, as you see the arm moves from the elbow, but the glove and the wristband do not come with. In order to have the glove and the wristband move with the arm, again, click on control, click at the elbow, drag down, do not let go of control, then click on the glove, click shift and scroll up, again, do not let go of control, click on the wristband, hold shift and scroll up. Now when we move our arm, the wristband and the glove will come with our character. And as I go back now to my plugin and go to T pose sub T, ZBrush will now take all sub tools, put them up to a higher subdivision level, and make the movements as you see that we just made. So we have now just posed the arm of the demo soldier. 